Welcome back to Inside Bristol, and I am here with Hope Grindstaff. Thank you so much for joining us Thank today. Thank you for having me. And we have got an update and some things that you're going to need your calendar for. So go ahead and get a pen and your calendar. If you've got a smartphone, get your calendar up and running because the Paramount and Hope is the marketing director there. She is going to tell us all about some upcoming events. And as we know, we're really blessed to have such a beautiful theater. We in do our have a beautiful area. theater, and we have incredible shows coming up this season. I know. She was telling me before we started talking to you all about them, and each time I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to see them, and oh, I'm coming to that <laughs> one. Because they're, oh, I think what I love the most is the variety. Exactly. We have and something it just, for absolutely everyone this season. So starting in January, we've got a couple of interesting, well, an interesting talk really about Ebola. Exactly. Dr. Margaret Scarlett, um, she helped write all the protocol on HIV and AIDS oh. for the government. Um, she went into retirement and they called her out of retirement to come and, and just and help the, the, the community understand. Um, mm -hmm you know, the, the fact from fiction on Ebola. Um, you know, she's helping the government write protocol um, on infectious, man you know, infectious disease management and, um, you know, how that we in the United States can handle if we do have an epidemic here. So, and she's, so and she's amazing. So you are going to want to miss that, and that is on January 25th. Correct, correct. And, you know, if you're a student and, you know, you want to come, um, if you're a nursing student or a med student, um, or even a high school student, you know, we can we can help you out with groups or we can do a scholarship if, if we need to. So it's something that we want the community to be a part of. That's great. And then we also have another exciting group yes. coming that was on America's Got Talent. And they just won Fake True off. TV's Fake Off. Exactly. They'll be there on Friday, February the 6th at 730. And it's Lightwire Theater. Um, classically trained ballerinas that have turned... Um, to complete storytellers behind a black screen with huge frames and glow wire. And it's amazing. If you can, you know, you can go on YouTube and check them out um, and you'll be amazed at what they can do with just a few frames and some glow wire and a black screen. I'm amazed when I watch those shows. And so it's great. And I actually saw the winner of um, like the sand art a few years ago who right. came to town or came to our area and in person it's just an incredible experience so that's one i you know it is completely again, different have, i hope you have your calendars out and if you miss anything you know you, you can, can always, always check our website always yes. check out our website or check us out on facebook and the paramount's always just a good go-to place because i think there's always something great going on there exactly exactly we have you know everything we've even started doing weddings at the paramount so i've been to a wedding yes. at the paramount look I, yes I, I love that place so so you know that's <laughs> you know, a great venue for everything it really is yeah it, it really is so what else what else do we need to um think about? in march we have red molly coming up march 21st um, red molly's been at rhythm and roots a couple of times and they are here by themselves doing you know their their classic americana folk harmony that is amazing um those three women i i don't know how they found each other but i'm glad they did because they make amazing music um and we you know we're just we're very excited to have them on the paramount stage um and then the next show is may 2nd and this is so exciting for the paramount we have asheville lyric opera bringing west side story oh, wow. and it's the classic Romeo and Juliet, you know, tell that you know of West Side Story. Mm -hmm. But for the first time in many, many years, we're opening the orchestra pit. We have a 19-piece orchestra coming, and the, wow. the orchestra pit, you know, to me, I've never seen it. I haven't either. I, I don't think anybody that works... What look like Exactly. Right now. You exactly. don't know you haven't seen it yet. No, <laughs> and, and we're, we're so excited because that's going to bring, you know, something for everybody in the community that hasn't had a chance to actually hear an orchestra in a pit and watch a full performance on stage of a classic Broadway show. And that's so amazing. that's something for, you know, for grandparents to bring their grandchildren and their kids. And it's just Every, yeah, a beautiful story. And I think it's going to be a beautiful evening in the theater. 
That is great. Yeah, the orchestra really makes a difference. You know, when you can see, uh, well, I went and saw Phantom of the Opera in New York, okay. and I was right up front, and I could you can see the orchestra playing, and I mean, it's just amazing. Yeah, the difference really in the incredible. music from hearing it on, you know, a sound system coming from above to hear the actual, you know, you can hear the bows on the you, violins and the cellos. It's, it's amazing, and it just sort of, like, penetrates through exactly. and the singing and, and oh, it's and really incredible. if you're incredible. not a classical fan, you'll become a classical yes. fan um, just by, you know, feeling the emotion that they're able to play mm -hmm. and it's amazing. And then um, we have Gaelic Storm coming on May 29th and they're in their 10th year of, of traveling and they're coming out with their brand new albums called Full Irish. Um, so May 29th at 7.30, um, they, they never disappoint. You know, and you don't have to deal with the river dance kind of Celtic, and you get the fun, um, the folk side of Celtic music. That's amazing. Exactly. And then in June, we are kind of finishing up our season with a community gym. Theater Bristol is bringing um, Les Mis to the Paramount stage. So we have six evenings of um, Les Mis and Rob. We have June 19th, 20th, and 21st, and we have um, June 26th, 27th, and 28th. So the evening shows on Fridays and Saturdays are at 7.30, and two o'clock shows on Sunday. Um, absolutely incredible that, that Theater Bristol um, has gotten the rights to do Les Mis. That and is so amazing. An and they have worked cast. so hard. They will come in and talk with us and I, I mean I, they they find like the best talent it's really great exactly and to highlight all volunteer it's I mean how can you beat that with the hours and hours that they put in you know like with Scrooge they oh. sold out I mean sold out you could see the lines on the streets waiting for tickets so oh. we're so excited to have the community come together and and you know put two theaters on the same street together and That's bring great. a classic Absolutely. a classic Oh, well, Hope, we're so glad that you joined Thank us today, you. and I'm sure you all are busy <laughs> writing, <laughs> writing down all these things, <laughs> but but it really is amazing, and we just are so lucky to have a place like the Pear Mountain Bristol, so exactly. thank you for sharing that. Thank you so if much. you missed something, you know, you can get online, or you can always call Hope over at the theater, and exactly. she'll be happy to fill you in and share with you more details, um, so what a great show today. Yeah. Lots of opportunities for us living here in Bristol, right. so we appreciate it. Thank you. And thank you all for watching today. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.